Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And do you know what? There's a problem. There's a problem in this world, and that problem is the X button. And here to complain about this issue with me is the two stooges. Now it's John and Zeon. Say hello. <laughs> in this house, we call it the cross button. <laughs> You know, my aunt, she was a big fan of the Three Stooges back in the day, so I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I, I must admit, I was just, I didn't know what to say, and I just, I just went with whatever came to it's my good. mind. And it's apparently, good. that was it. But yes, hello, thank you both for coming along, because, yeah, there's, um, there is genuinely a problem with the X button. And you could argue it's not a very big problem, but you know what? If there's if 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 I if if I'm if I can do anything is I can make a mountain out of a molehill for the sake of mild comedy and commentary. So, what is this problem? I hear you ask. Well, yes, Alex, <clears throat> what is the problem with the X button? <laughs> as, as you know, the um, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, the Wii U Gamepad, the Wii U Pro Controller, going all the way back to the SNES, missing out the Wii and uh, the N64. But regardless, there has, for the longest time, been an X button on Nintendo systems, and it's always been the top button. The one at the very top, you've got X at the top, you've got B at the bottom, Y on the left, and A on the right. And that is how it has always been with Nintendo systems that follow that standard layout. However, a little thing called the Dreamcast happened and wanted to mix things up a bit. And the Dreamcast changed it so that the A button was at the bottom, the B button was on the right, the Y button was on the top, and the X button was on the left. Small difference, I'm sure people, people can adapt. But the thing is, is that you know, that then, I, I forgot to actually mention that was, you know, what the Xbox controller was based on. Maybe should have mentioned that. Um, but then we also have the PlayStation controller. And guess what? Guess that's that's got an X button as well. As John uh, hinted, it's um, generally called the cross button. But, mate, it's the X button as well. It's the same symbol. It's not symbol. on the top, though, is it? It's not? No. Uh, Do you know where it is? It's at the bottom. This is the you know, we're forgetting a crucial part of history too. Is the Mega Drive six button controller has X, oh, Y, and Z right. on the top. Oh row. god, it that's, does, in the, doesn't it? that's in the top left hand corner, and Saturn did that too. Yeah, but people didn't actually own the Saturn, so it's generally okay. Um, but, the, <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, well, John's friend did. Yes, yes, John's friend did, I suppose. And whilst <laughs> you, you know, sort of, if you own one console. It's no issue, you know. You you just you learn. You get muscle memory. It says press X. You know immediately where to go. You you're playing on the Nintendo Switch. You go to the top. You're playing on the the PlayStation. You go to the bottom. You you're playing on the Xbox One. You go to the the left button, and that's you know you just deal with it. But but the, but what if you own more than one? You have to change the way your brain works. And I know I for the longest time I had a 360 and I had a Wii U and I. I flipped between them and I maybe fumbled occasionally, but I got over it. But now I've got three consoles. And as a little extra, little sprinkling on top, there's also the X key on keyboards is not all the time, but quite <laughs> often used. And, and the Xbox One, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox Series X and Series S, the Xbox controller, the Xbox home menu button, whatever the bloody hell it's called, I'm too angry to care. Oh no. It's an X. It's ah, I'm I'm fit to burst <laughs> with this. I really am. We we've got too many X buttons. I understand that it's it's happened just through standard, you know, sort of general evolution of different systems, and that's always gonna happen. That you know, these things just happen, but oh for the love of God, can we not just standardize things and it gets even worse and you two i'm gonna let you speak in a moment but i'm i'm full i'm on the rant train right now and i need to get this out of my brain when you if you were to play the playstation in in uh, in, in 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 japan until very recently the x button was the confirm button and the circle button was the back button and in the in the west it's the other way around so that's another that's another bow to the string of the X button's Tom f f f naughtiness. 
And just to confirm, it's not like none of these other regions are like actually changing their controllers either, right? No. It's all just in the in the actual settings of the game itself. Right. Yeah. And it's it's honestly and it, it's reached the point, and to be honest, more so than the X button, we're focusing on the X button because it's common amongst all of them. But the thing that really irks me, I think, is the confirm and back buttons for menus. Because on the Switch, Nintendo systems, it's the right button. On Xbox, it's the um, it's the lower button, and the same on PlayStation. And pl so PlayStation and Xbox kind of mirror each other, just about. But I don't want to do that to the point that I've actually changed the bindings on all my controllers <laughs> the, to, to reflect more the um, the Switch's layout. What's aggravating too is a lot of PlayStation era games made in Japan, like Metal Gear and Final Fantasy VII. They worked like the Japanese ones do, where circles accept, and that makes sense because the standardized like the reason those symbols exist was circle was like yeah go okay, and X was no that that's cancel, which makes sense for Japan and it makes sense for the re rest of the world too, but for whatever reason in in the West they decided actually no X is gonna be uh, okay. So in PS2, in the PlayStation 2 era, a lot of Japanese games ended up having X being okay in the West, but still sticking with Circle in Japan, which is just confusing. And it's understandable why so many Japanese people are aggravated why this is being globalized. Because not only does it make sense for Circle to be okay, but they've grown up with that all these years. There's no reason to change that. It's all our fault. It is all our fault. Um, you know what else is confusing too? It's not just the X button, but they've standardized... They've standardized... Um, Pause and minus, pause and select. So when I was playing um, Halo with my partner not too long ago, she wanted to pause the game. So I said, okay, press the start button. And she looked down at the controller and there is no start button. There is only the three lines. And how is that easier? How was it easier to have a button that instead of saying start, which it did on 360, is now just three lines? What, what do you? How do you? What do you say to them? Press, press the three line button? <laughs> how do you, how do you explain press, that? Press, is, is it the, the burger column button? <laughs> Is it, is it, are they trying to change it to the options button? Like what? What something the, the like that? The start button yeah. is. You, you're right. That is the recognizable thing. Yeah, yeah. It it just it gets my goat because I kind of get the three lines is similar to the the general sort of like um, uh, a lot of like mobile devices use three dots as kind of like an option or a menu thing, and that's okay. kind of expanded into that. But at the same time, I I just don't know what was wrong with having a start it's just oh and i think the thing that gets me even more is that the um the switch has the minus button the xbox has the uh, uh the select button what the hell is it called nowadays i genuinely don't know um so the xbox one is now a a square with like a little square around it is isn't that like that's not share is it that's not the share button no the share button is um an arrow with a line around <laughs> it sake. I mean, I understand these symbols are largely arbitrary, but even so, so but, but yes, you have those two, so you have essentially two menu buttons. We'll just call them menu buttons for the sake of ease. On the Switch, you have plus and minus, which, again, start and select, really, could you not just have kept it as that? Um, and on the Xbox, you have three lines and box in box. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Um, and then on the PlayStation, you have the share button there. So it's, 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 you immediately, if you've played other systems, you sort of think, oh, okay, well, I need to bring up the second options menu. You, you press that and instead it's just like, hey, where do you want to send this screenshot or video? And it's like, I don't. And now I'm dead in Dark Souls. Um, but so the, many accidental screenshots. So yeah, many. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what's confusing too is colors. Like not, not very many games have their inputs color coded, but some do. I think it was Bishy Bashy Special on the PlayStation made you um, put your inputs by the color of the button. So like the, the X button, I believe, is blue. And so you're, that, that would color it, that would, um, that would go with what you do in the game. But every controller colors their buttons differently. So on Xbox, the X button is blue. On Dreamcast, I believe it's yellow. And I think it might also be yellow on Super Nintendo. But um, just imagine not only having to memorize where the button is, but also the color, which not every game does, but some do. But memorizing that on every controller, it's so tough. And I think generally this would be more forgivable, more forgivable and less kind of like a big deal. Um, I mean, at the, at the same time, it's not a big deal, but, you know, entertainment. Um, if the controllers, like the modern controllers, weren't all 
essentially identical. I mean, yes, they have slightly different form factors, like the Xbox, the Xbox, whatever the hell they're calling it, just the Xbox controller, I think now. Um, it's, that was kind of, that was standardized with the 360, and largely it hasn't changed. And the PlayStation uh, 3 controller was massively outdated. Um, but the, you know, the PS4, it brought in the DualShock 4, which was essentially the same, but the sticks were in a slightly different position. And the Switch is, uh, the Switch Pro controller is basically exactly the same as the Xbox controller. <laughs> but, and so you hold it in your hands and it's not, it doesn't feel like really you're holding a different controller. If you were to pick it up and try and compare them, like one in each hand, yeah, you can tell which one's which. It's silly, but when you're just playing a game, your hand just you, your hands don't say you're holding a different controller. You just you just get into the game and you just play it. You don't think about it on that level. And then it says hit the X button and you don't know where to look. That happened when we uh when we all played Halo 3 uh, a couple weeks ago. I had to like I remember when I was like trying to like enter john's um john's username or something like that i was uh, i had to like look down at the controller to figure out where the x button was because i just it's been so long and i'm used to the switch controller and yeah it's ridiculous that's the hardest thing is typing because <laughs> you have to rely yeah. on on accept and cancel and that that's so hard to get your head around especially you're right Nintendo and then they is... all do something different too so like if you're used yeah. to typing in something on switch and you go to playstation 4 to type it in now it's now the x button not only is it in a different position it means something entirely different <laughs> yeah because nintendo is the one that introduced all this stuff but now now they're the weird one now they're the one that's not doing the standard the standardized um except being at the bottom but I, I mean, I, I guess there must be gamers who skipped the Wii U, who didn't have a, a Wii Classic controller, and just didn't have like a proper Nintendo uh, four-button controller since maybe the Super Nintendo. And them going from their standardized, uh, except being at the bottom, to switches on the right, that must, that must be really confusing for them. Well, I find it awful because in my head, naturally, A is on the right because it's progression. You know, we read left to right. You know, right is progression, go forward in the same way that, you know, two arrows pointing right is a fast forward indicator. It's, it's progress forward, go forward. The play button is an arrow pointing right. Right is progression culturally to us. And, you know, sort of so from that perspective, if that's progress, what's back? Oh, well, you know, it's uh, it's it's down and to the left a bit. You know, it's it's you know, you could argue it should be the left button, but that's not necessarily ergonomic. So the next best thing is what's you know, what's left and down. That's kind of you know, down and left is kind of negative, you know, down is negative and left is back. So there's the B button. Great. That doesn't work on the Xbox. That doesn't work on the PlayStation. And I think, I think the problem is actually Nintendo. I think it's Nintendo's fault because for the longest time, sometimes the B button was progress on the SNES. You know, this goes back further than just modern controllers, too. I, I was playing Sonic Pocket Adventure on the Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket Color for some footage not long as, ago. As, as everyone does. <laughs> as one does. I was stuck on the menu for a while because they flip where A and B are. So A on the Neo Geo is on the left and B is on the right. And on the Game Boy, that's flipped. So I was just pressing the B button over and over again. Like, why won't this game start? Is it busted? And I looked down, I was like, oh, it's just in a different place. And do you know what the most egregious example in my mind of this complete nonsense being properly compounded into one of the most irritating aspects is a game that was released on the Switch not very long ago. Dark Souls uses the B button to confirm on the Switch. Did you make a whole video about this at yes, one point, I Alex? Did. I remember that. Wow. <laughs> and I think they patched it with allowing you to map controls within the game. However, they didn't change how Except works. That was the only thing, that's like the only thing you can't remap. It's the only yeah. thing. It's it's so bizarre. I mean, I'm a huge From Software fan. I've played every single game they've ever made. And I, <laughs> I, I, I played a ton, I played like Dark Souls on PS3 for over 200 hours, Bloodborne over 100 hours, all, all this stuff. And going from that to Switch shouldn't have been strange, because I was so adjusted to how it worked there. But it was, because when you're holding a Nintendo controller, it's just different. 
And so in the entire playthrough, um, rolling off the edge rather than reading posts. It just baffles me. I, I mean, I, I understand, you know, sort of certainly when it came to the developers, they maybe had so much muscle memory in a game like Dark Souls requires a lot of good muscle memory. So you need that kind of familiarity. And so for them, the lower button is confirm. Okay, I understand that. But why, oh why, oh why? Okay, are you going to look at that and say B button? That's the confirm button, despite the fact there is, as far as I'm aware, there is literally no other game on the Switch that has the B button as confirm. What on earth were they thinking? And then to give us the option to remap all the controls, except that! In my brain, B has always meant back, A has meant accept, X and Y are their own thing. <laughs> but that's that's so strange. And I think it gets even more... It, it, the, one of the issues is the fact that the X button comes up on so many controllers, uh, including the keyboard. It's not used nearly as frequently on PC, but it does get used. And so on the Switch, it's a primary button. Um, the same on the PlayStation. On the Xbox, it's a secondary button. It's one of the ones at the top. On the PC, it's a tertiary button, and they all use the same symbol. They all use the same... Uh, oh, and then you've got, like, another tertiary button on the Xbox home menu button. The... Whoa. Uh, people will say, too, like, just remap the buttons, and that, that's not a solution, because in the game, it still tells you to press the B button in Dark Souls, even though, even if you re re even if you remapped B to A. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still going to tell you to press B. So that's just super confusing. And it gets even worse when you play a game like Halo. I've had to relearn Halo because when we played it the other week, I've got all my buttons remapped on the Xbox so that they reflect uh, the Switch controls. So now I have to jump with, on the Xbox controller, the B button. Um, and But what would be the A button on the Switch? And I reload with the X button, the top button, which is the Y button on the Xbox. It's just... Or is it the... Yeah, 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 the Y button at the top when it should be the one on the right because that's kind of, it's generally accepted that the lower button is jump. The uh, the button on the left is reload. Not always. And in fact, I think, no, the, or reload or change weapon, maybe. No, why is change weapon in my layout? This is how confusing it is. Ah! <laughs> I'm just picturing Alex's desk is just covered in controllers right now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I have an awful lot of controllers. I've been meaning to do a video ranking them all, or at least looking at them all, because I've got an awful lot, and an awful lot are awful, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> so Alex, so, and John, we're we're aware that there's, there's the organization, there's the ESRB, you know, they're out there to make sure that games are rated, so that way games, you know, get into the, the right hands of, uh, of uh, old enough uh, human beings that exist on this world. <laughs> so... What if we had an organization, though, that stood up for controller consistency to make sure that companies out there like Nintendo, Microsoft, Google with Stadia are, are you know, creating controllers that are easily, you know, you, anybody can pick up and play with this and they're not going to they're not going to worry about rolling off the edge. I, I, I don't know a better outcome than that. But what do you what do you want? What if, if you if you had your way of fixing the X button? or just fixing this conundrum, what, what would you do? What would you change? Are you pitching that we start a business? Because I think we should I don't know. start this. <laughs> I don't know. We should, we should just, I, I don't no. think it should be a business. I think we need to be a government body. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Or yes. A non-profit organization of some sorts. Yes. I think if I had to fix um, everything for the sake of my own ease, I'd just make everything like the Switch. Or at the very least, like... Just make everything... Uh, honestly, at this point, I, I could relearn. I could relearn. As long as it was all the same. And I wasn't constantly flipping back between different muscle memories. And it says, press the X button. And I have to take half an hour's break to get over the fact that I don't know where the <laughs> X button is. It's, it's a really hard to find a solution for this. Because I know people in Japan are very upset about them globalizing the X button. So for me to say, let's make everything this way, like that's that's going to change things for everyone else. And uh, there, there's no, there's, at this point, there is no ideal solution. It's it's an awkward situation with no, as you say, no simple solution. It is what it is, and it makes me a sad bunny. If only we could just wipe away the past, you know, remove remove our memories of the X button. Just start fresh. Everyone can learn the new way. But that sounds pretty uh, messed up. 
<laughs> if I go any deeper on that. If we had the power of time travel, we would use it to change where the X button is. <laughs> Infiltrate, infiltrate Sega HQ and <laughs> Sony HQ and say, no, 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 put the X button here and then leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll go, who was that? I don't know. You know what? I never thought of that. And the thing is, is that it even bleeds into everyone's favorite thing to discuss, mobile gaming, because you need to hit the X button in order to close all the bloody ads that come up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's everywhere. It's just, it's unavoidable. It's an overused symbol and, e oh. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, guys, it's not a big deal. Um, but it's, um, but it is irritating. It is genuinely irritating. And I've had to, and I wasn't lying when I said I've remapped all my controllers. I have. I want to crack them open eventually and change the buttons around so that it reflects what I, what it says on screen. It then reflects on, it on the controller. And even my partner's done the same thing on the PlayStation and on the Xbox because, you know, our muscle memories have just been so cemented in Nintendo. We can't, we can't change it to anything else. And I'm sure it would be exactly the same if we went from, you know, if I, we were on Push Square, you know, our sister, uh, sister sign, sister channel, where, you know, it said, press the X button. Whoa, where is it? You know, if we were to play a Switch, it's... Ay, 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 ay. When the world's back to normal and friends can come over, they're going to be like, dude, why is the X button like this? And that's, that's another part of the problem, is people like to remap their buttons. Like whenever I play Smash with someone, there's always one person who goes into the control settings and like mm -hmm. turns tap jump off or whatever, or it turns things around to how they like their system. To be fair, I think it's a legal requirement to turn tap jump off. See, Alex is that person. <laughs> so, like, when, <laughs> when you remap them on a system level, then, and someone else is going to do that. It's just, it just introduces too many problems. It, it's all too, it's a big mess of string that cannot be unraveled. Gaming was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And thankfully we do, you know, now that the Switch at least has the, the button mapping for, you know, in its own system settings, everybody can mess around with that however they like. Uh, and I'm glad that you were able to, to adjust your settings on your Xbox too, Alex. Um, and, you know, thankfully we have those features, but it's just such a... It's such a pain. And if you wanted to crack open, like, I, I, I thought you said something about, like, potentially cracking open your controller and, like, swapping around the buttons. Like, yes, you, can't even, yep. you can't even do that on Switch to mine. Well, okay, I, maybe you could. But if it, it, some some buttons I know are designed in ways that they can't be put back into the other uh, options. I think GameCube controllers and I think Super Nintendo controllers both have little, like, uh, arms on them, essentially, that don't let them get put into the wrong slots. So you yeah, just couldn't even, yeah. you couldn't even switch it around. No, I know, I know. I, 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 I actually have potentially a donor controller, which is basically identical to the Xbox One controller. So I'm hoping the buttons have the same little fronds. Fronds? That's a weird word to use. Um, <laughs> sure, so, go with but, it. But it's actually a, a switch controller. So the A button, all the buttons are in what I would personally consider the correct position. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. I'm just going to be able to open up the Xbox controller Boom, you know, knock out those old buttons, stick the these new ones in from this weird Chinese one, and I'd, I'll be happy as a sandboy. It was so simple on the Atari 2600 when you just say push the button. So it's just one big red button. <laughs> yeah, but you'd sometimes have two buttons that both did the same thing. We've evolved. We've evolved beyond the button. We've evolved more than man should. So, yeah, there you go. That was, that was a, a good 20 minutes or so chat, wasn't it? <laughs> Mostly I'm a rant. angry, Alex. I, I, I came into this chat quite calm, and now I'm angry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to have made you angry. Um, if, y if you yourself, who's watching, uh, if you're angry, leave a comment down below. Um, we'd, like, we'd love to open up a dialogue about this, but at the same time, don't take this too seriously. It's annoying, but at the end of the day... It's, it's not it's not the end of the world, is it? But um, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you draw two intersecting diagonal lines over that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? You're listening to the Nintendo Life X Button Radio. Hey, everybody. Angry Man X4 X42 here. Oh, and let me show you about a little thing called Samus Aran. See how odd? She was 6 foot 4, and now she's 5 foot 10. What the heck, Nintendo? Right, let's get a sink-a-dink. Why not?
Hey everybody, Angry Man 544 here, and today I'm gonna be ranting all the way about Chikorita. Chikorita's this stupid little Pokemon. <laughs> hey, little leaf on it here, and all he can do is you a leaf. Hey, you know what? I th I thought Chikorita was pretty all right. Uh, Angry Gamer 5412. This is a uh, Chikorita fan lover 276 here, and um, I, I don't completely <laughs> agree with you. I think uh, you must have just got a little burned by uh, Cyndaquil when you were a kid, huh? Huh? Is you that, know you, what? You got a little... I never saw it that way. I actually do like Chikorita. Well, that was... I, I'm glad you say so. Thank you. That was so easy. If only the rest of the world was that easy. <laughs> Chikorita lover 495, Angry Gamer 555, or whatever your name is. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out on your drama. <laughs> And we, I'm gonna take you down. You don't know. You don't want to mess with me, cause I'm a king of the internet, ain't I? You must be a fan of Total Dial. <laughs> Is this the X-Person video?